On May 25, 1943, Hitler personally authorized the Nazis' most concerted effort to liquidate him in a massive parachute assault. Predsjednik Tito i ostali gosti su se osmatračnice ispod brega Kamenica posmatrali vežbu Drvar 74 koja je imala za cilj da verno rekonstruiše Drvarsku bitku. Pored rekonstrukcije Drvarske bitke ova vežba imala i niz nastavnih ciljeva među kojima i taktičko uvežbavanje jedinica u eventualnom desantnom napadu. Tito claimed to have been reborn after his lucky escape in Drvar. May 25th became his official birthday, a chance for the whole nation to celebrate his miraculous survival. World War II in Yugoslavia was not just about fighting Germans. Local nationalist movements fought to establish their own authority. In Croatia, the Ustasha seized the opportunity to set up a fascist state, while Serbian Chetniks struggled to reinstate the monarchy. The result was brutal civil war with horrendous civilian casualties. Tito's reputation rests on having led his partisan army to victory as the sole anti-fascist force in Yugoslavia. Only now, half a century later, is this version of history being challenged. The divisions that wrenched Yugoslavia apart in the Second World War re-emerged when the country fell apart in the 1990s and they still haunt the region today.